It all started when we toxic crusaders were getting some well-deserved playtime with a friendly game of football. Ouch! Whoa, dude! That was my hand that got bit. Sorry, it's your call. That's better. Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, Toxie, what is it? My traumatons are signaling that something evil is nearby. Jeepers, and I was hoping it was my new perfume. No, Yvonne, this is something even worse. Uh-oh, what have we here? It's some kind of insect. Maybe it's a free sample of a new product, Bug in a Bag. In which case... Speaking of bugs, Tsar Zoster, ruler of Smogula, was driving Dr. Kilimov buggy. Kilimov, I'm sick and tired of your ineptitude when it comes to handling the toxic crusaders. Do you have any idea how many times you've screwed up? I'm not an accountant, your larva ship. I'm a ruthless interplanetary invader. Not anymore, you're not. Your replacement should be arriving momentarily. You're replacing me with a bag of garbage? Garbage? Garbage! Give me garbage to you! Yeah, don't worry, boss. I'll get rid of this talking termite! A talking termite, am I? <laughs> Now that's a ruthless interplanetary invader. Kill him off. From now on, Garbage is in charge. But your high and mightiness. Don't argue with me, Kill him off. Just follow orders. Ooh, I've got to be holographing off now. I'm taking my wife to the movies, and I don't want to miss the cartoon. Kill him off. You fouled up again. That's why I'm taking over this operation. What operation is that, General? if I didn't already know. The most frightening, blood-curdling plan I've ever conceived. The invasion of the Bitty Snatchers. Even as we speak, hundreds of my crack infiltrators are arriving in Tromaville, each one individually sealed for your protection. Each infiltrator will take a nip of a sweet little gray-haired grandmother. You, Bob, scary animal. <laughs> You're bending. It will then genetically duplicate the old bitty creating a perfect clone, except with four arms. The system still has few bugs in it. Oh, my stars and girls! And that, kill him off, is my plan in a nutshell. In a nutshell is where it belongs. But why, little old ladies, General? <laughs> Think about it. Who would ever suspect some sweet blue-haired grandmother is actually a smogulant infiltrator? I hate to admit it. It's an old trick, but it just might work. Your job is to make sure that the windows of every old lady in town are broken so that my infiltrators can enter their homes and become their clones. Yeah, yeah, we'll take care of it. Until I can figure out a way to take care of you. Just think. Soon my biddies will control the cities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big deal. While all this was going on, I was at Mom's house for our regular Wednesday night dinner and lecture. Toxie, darling, don't slurp your soup. And sit up straight, you'll grow all crooked. Mom, I'm hideously deformed, remember? That's no excuse for bad posture. Uh-oh, there go my traumatons. Something evil is afoot. Whatever it is, it can wait. First you'll eat something, and then you'll save the world. All right! <laughs> Only 212 more houses to go! What was that noise, darling? There's a humongous rock in my soup. All right, so I'm not the greatest cook in the world. No, Mom. Someone tossed it in through the window. Now, why would anyone want to do a thing like that? I don't know, but I have a feeling it has something to do with the main plot of this story. I was right, because at that very moment, Bonehead and Psycho were breaking all the windows at the Bitty City Retirement Village. Thanks for the great dinner and the nagging, Mom. I'll come by and fix your window tomorrow. Bring lots of Band-Aids! You know what a klutz you are! Children, they fill your life with joy. Hmm, this reminds me. I haven't made matzo balls in ages. 
No wonder my traumatons were acting up. Little did I realize that my very own mom was about to be the next victim of... The Invasion of the Bitty Snatchers. Oi! Tomorrow when Toxie comes to fix the window, I'll ask him to bring some of Junkyard Flea Powder. Huh? Where did you come from? And where did you buy that dress? No! Stop! Oh, Lord! Mom was being carried off by her own clone. The only good part was, I couldn't make out a single word she was saying. And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. General Garbage's plan was right on schedule. All over Tromaville, his infiltrator clones were carrying their innocent bitty victims to a place of unspeakable evil. Mayor Brody's office at City Hall. Aha! My infiltrators have arrived and right on schedule. Pay attention, kill em off. You're about to see a group of tough, highly disciplined troops in action. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm not your mom, you fat, sweaty, wart face pug. That's funny, you sound just like her. I'm your mom, you fat, sweaty, wart face pug. I can't believe you let them treat your poor old father like this. I told you to move to Florida. Rhoda, you bum. When my son Toxie hears about this, he'll tattoo his tutu all over your tum-tum. Forget it, darling, you're wasting your breath. Enough of this! Lock up your originals and report back here for briefing! More schlepping? Oi! And this one weighs a ton! Just do as you're told! Oh. Troops, it's time for Operation Kvetch! Now get out there and nag, criticize and complain! I want this town cleared in 48 hours now! Get moving! General, darling, couldn't we stop for some Danish and coffee, hmm? The answer is no! Now forward! Forward! Left! Left! I left my kids my money! Right! Right! And they never even right! There, kill em off. After a couple of days of non-stop whining, Tromaville will be ripe for a smogulant invasion! Yeah, but what if the Toxic Crusader's strange mutant abilities let them defeat the infiltrator bug? And the real biddies bust out of jail and kick butt on the fake biddy. Kill him off. What is this blisterhead babbling about? Ignore him, General. I always do. And see where it's gotten you. Talk about bad timing. Mother's Day was coming up. And since none of them had mothers of their own, Yvonne and the guys were sitting around discussing what to get my mom. I think flowers would be nice. And upset Tromaville's delicate ecological balance? Oh, ho, no way. How about a couple of cases of raw hot dogs? It's a gift that keeps on giving. I know. We'll buy her an encyclopedia. Forget it, dude. She's too old to ride any kind of cycle. Hi, Yvonne. What brings you to the toxic dump? I just came over to help the boys pick out a Mother's Day gift for your mom. Did you say... <laughs> Toxie, what's going on? Yeah, what's shaking? I mean, besides you. <laughs> Thanks, Mop. I needed that. What happened to you, Toxie? I don't know. When I heard the word M-O-M, -M, I went into full traumaton alert. Which means... That something awful has happened to Mom. <laughs> See? It happens every time I say the word Mom. <laughs> right. We get the point. Let me say it another way. Fellas, you know who is in serious trouble. I must go find her. Toxie! Why you looking for you know who? Keep an eye out for mom! <laughs> Sorry. Meanwhile, the infiltrator clones began dragging the good people of Tromaville out of the city with their constant nagging. You stole like a hippopotamus with a sinus condition. Not only that, but you dropped crumbs all over the carpet. No one was safe from the endless nagging. Not even Lloyd and his family. 
Uh, another thing is it too much to ask that you feed my grandchildren a proper diet. Nutrition is very important. A five-year-old can't live on junk food and television, you know. It looked like Operation Kvetch was a complete success. Soon there'd be no one left to defend Tromoville against invasion but the toxic crusaders. Well, gentlemen, it looks like Operation Kvetch is a complete success. Soon there'll be no one left to defend Tromaville against our invasion. Except the Toxic Crusaders. The who? The Toxic Crusaders. A group of hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength. Ah, they're no match for my highly trained infiltrators. Mayor Grody, I need a roadblock. Aye, aye, General. You came to the right person. He wants a blocked road, not a block head. Blah. One day I'm gonna rip your android head off and use it for a bowling ball. Believe me, he'll never miss it. Mop and I were on the way to you know who's house to check things out when suddenly here came Mayor Grody's limo and headed straight for me. Young man, you're in big trouble. You mean aside from being a toxically disfigured mutant? Worse. As the head of the Biddy Committee to keep Tromaville pretty, you and the other toxic crusaders have been declared too ugly to be allowed to live within the city limits. What exactly does that mean? It means you and your toxically mutated friends are being deported. Uh, I guess it could be worse. To Siberia! No, it couldn't. <laughs> My mom's on that committee. I bet if she were here, she'd have something to say about this. You're darn right she would. Mom, what happened to you? You grew two more arms. So, what's the big deal? One year when you were little, you grew two more feet. Mom, tell me you don't want me to leave. Siberia is that way. Now get going. Okay, Mom. If that's what you really want, I'll go. This is so sad. I think I'm going to cry. Good thing there's a commercial coming up so I can blow my nose. <laughs> And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. After Mom broke my heart, I had to go back to the Toxic Dump and break a few of my own. Siberia! That's what Mom said. And you know me, I never disobey my mom. After that came the saddest thing I ever had to do. Say goodbye to my girlfriend, Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. Bye, Yvonne. Gee, but that was a short visit. This isn't a visit, Yvonne. It's goodbye. The Toxic Crusaders have to move to Siberia. It's some new law about us being too ugly. How cruel. With all those biddies driving everyone out of Tromaville, it's gonna be awful dead around here. Maybe I'll leave town, too. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you come to Siberia with us? Nah, it wouldn't work for my songwriting career. Nothing rhymes with Siberia except hysteria. Now, Miami, there's a great town to write songs about. You got your Sammy and your Hammy and Mammy, not to mention Clammy and Alabama, and in a stretch, Salami. So there it was. I was going to Siberia, but my heart was on its way to Miami. Blast it! General Garbage's crackpot plan is actually working. People are leaving Tromaville in droves. You should be happy, boss. We've been trying to clear out Tromaville for this entire series. Yes, but we were supposed to do it, not some one-shot guest villain. Yeah, if General Garbage succeeds, we're out of a job. I never thought I'd say this, but we need the Toxic Crusaders. Ew, gross! Forget it. Toxie's mom's clone kicked them all out of Tromaville. They're moving to Siberia. Ew, gross! I'll never understand why that hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength always listens to his mother. I want you to bring the Toxic Crusaders to Island City. If we're going to defeat Garbage and his army of biddies, we'll need their help. Finally, it was time to go. We were all kind of down in the dumps about leaving the dump. Oh, it sure is sad leaving this old place. I got a lot of memories buried here. Me too. Yeah, only minor bones, and I didn't have time to dig them up. 
Chin up, Crusaders. Siberia is a place filled with dumps, and one of them has our name written all over it. We still couldn't believe it. After all we'd done for the town, we were being deported just for being ugly. Very now leaving for Siberia. All aboard! You wait till these jerks find out we're taking them to Island City instead. Yeah, are they in for a big surprise? Oh, Foxy, what if I want to call you or something? Do they have phones in Siberia? I doubt it. But don't worry, Yvonne. I'll keep in touch somehow. Do you think we could have some stirring music? Why, certainly, Toxie. No, not you. I mean, background music. Thanks. Yvonne, one day I'll return to Tromaville and change that anti-ugly law and get rid of Mom's extra arms and also turn off the bathtub, which I think I forgot to do. Goodbye, Yvonne. So long, Toxie. If you ever move to a city that rhymes, call me. It was a voyage full of surprises. The first surprise was finding out that Siberia is only 10 minutes from Tromaville. Next stop, Siberia. All ashore that's going ashore. Dr. Kilimot, what are you doing in Siberia? This is Island City, you dodo. Toxic crusaders, I have a proposition for you. Defeat General Garbage's infiltrators, and you can return to Tromaville. Honest? Cross my fingers and hope to die. Yeah! yeah. 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 Way to go! But a strange thing was happening at Tromaville City Hall. Uh, Mona, take a letter. Um, how's this one? Fine. Now send it airmail. There! Oh, that must have been exhausting. Here, you better sit down for a while and catch your breath. Oh, Mr. Mayor, you certainly are an understanding employer. <laughs> While Grody and Mona were playing kissy face, there was a jailbreak in the works. And it was being pulled off by my very own mom. OK, girls, no bulls in sight. Let's make a break for it. The last one to leave turns out the light. Let's go! Ready, break! No, lady! Back in your cells! You too, mom! Out of my way, shuddy, or I'll eat you! <laughs> Now that my mother's an escaped felon, I guess I can kiss my re-election goodbye. By the time we got back to Tromaville, all the citizens had fled. The place was a ghost town. The perimeter is all clear, troops. Not an infiltrator clone in sight. Uh-oh, it's an ambush. Shouldn't we be fighting back, Toxie? No way, Major Disaster. We can't hit little old ladies, even if they aren't little old ladies. Maybe you can't talk, see, darling, but we sure can. Mom? I'll teach you to hit my baby boy, you old bug. Uh, you old bug? If I've got bunions, you've got bunions. That's what you get for wearing my dress. But then the weirdest thing of all happened. OK, ladies, let's nuke them with a blue henna hairspray. Ready? Aim! Spread! The infiltrator clones shrunk back into little bugs. How humiliating. We hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength rescued by mom and her friends. Well, your mother won't be able to help you now! Rangers! Now those dudes we can handle. Toxic Crusaders, it's cleanup time! Now it's our turn to charge! Walnut trees, commence firing! Junkyard headed for the nearest fire hydrant. At first I thought it was just all the excitement, but he had a different plan in mind. Mop, where are you going? Hairspray? But I don't have any hair, remember? Oh, I get it. That's using your mop head. What? What are you doing? Serpian, <laughs> 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 retreat back to Smogula. 
Hey, wait up, General. You don't want to leave without your cute little buddies now, do you? But back in Island City, Dr. Killamoff was pretty happy, too. Yeah, pretty neat, boss, getting those toxic crusaders to do our work for us. Uh, yes, and now, with General Garbage out of the way, guess who will be back in charge? You, boss. For one cycle, your prediction is correct. Hologram for Dr. Kellamoff. Hologram for Dr. Kellamoff. Ah, that will be our Zoster now. Congratulations, Kellamoff. You're back in charge of Operation Tromaville. I figured you'd see the light. No offense, your Zar ship, but you should never send a bug to do a ruthless interplanetary invader's job. Yeah, well, this time, don't screw it up. All the citizens returned to Tromaville, just in time for Mother's Day. Yvonne had written a special song for the occasion. And it goes something like this. Mom is the one who tolerates the toxic radiation you Fills you full of knowledge. It sends you off to college. She's always there to bring you extra clothing and food. Her chicken soup will keep you going even through an acid rain. She sees you through the scrapes and bumps of living in a toxic dump. Living in a toxic dump. <laughs> I know just how you feel, Blobby. I got sensitive ears, too. We didn't have time to buy Mom a present, so instead we all pitched in and baked her a nice gooey cake. Oh, you darling boy. I wish you hadn't done that. Yeah! <laughs> like I said, I wish you hadn't done that.
Just you and me and about seven million viewers. Because I've got some slides I would love to show you. I hope they're not baby pictures. I'd like to gushy inside. I do see these. We'll be all gushy outside, too. This is a small girl in Mark Missing, raised to a thousand white babies. This is Trouble Baby the Bull. Say, but, oh, 
something to cheer up the little lady. It's as plain as the milk on my face. What well, your body needs is a new man to scream. Who are we going to get the danger? Oh, not you, Bobby. Some of the Bernard's faces. Watching my best friend was romancing my best girl. The first lucky slip was Chunkyard. Chunkyard? The picnic was simply marvelous idea. And all this time I thought you were nothing but a pound dog. I'm a black man who moves you on. Permit me to dispose of your chicken bones. Can I get you anything else? Just enough time to wash your hair and take a flea bag before the movie that needs to eat with her banger. A cop of the zombie server? Nonsense! Oh, well, there's much story on each one like zombies like that. We'll see zombies here by the way. Zombie server? Let me see what's going on here. I'm going to do that. 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 I'm going to do There was only one man in all of Somerville who was jealous of my upcoming nuptials. You guessed it, Mayor Grody. He still had hopes of marrying Gopa himself and becoming Sarge Sister's son in law. Finally, he saw his big son. What is it, Gopa? Which flavor do you want? All of them. What's this? The price bridal shower? <laughs> oh, but we're all grabbing one drink as I can. Well, the end went was broken. She's gone. There's something suspicious about this. It's not like her for the run off when there's food on the way. Uh oh, my chromatons are kicking in. It's those clear tracks. There's something evil about them. I just bet there's some connection between them and my missing bride of feet. Are we in the bridal shower already? Oh, that garbage right now. Just bring me half a shot. I'm always well to the ground. You must be the master, sir. No, I'm the true love of you. 
Interruption, Gripper, but this always happens towards the end of our show. We can get on with the wedding now. Sure does. Wouldn't it be a shame 
only let it go to waste. It sure would. Come on, guys, drop out. peaceful day at the toxic dump, we were all getting ready to go to the Tromoville Pier, where Yvonne was scheduled to give a singing recital. We were all kind of nervous and high strung. Oh, let's see now. Is it right over left or left over right? Or is that for a sheep shank half hitch? Are you sure you know how to tie a bow tie, Fender? No sweat, Bender. Before I got stuck with you, I was a total party animal. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Doc. I guess I lost my touch. Ever since I washed my helmet, I can't do a thing with it. Oh, I wish you people would quit hogging the mirror. I need time to make myself beautiful for Yvonne's recital. Forget it, Toxies Mom. We don't have till next St. Bernard's Day. Oh, such times we're living in when a dog can talk back to a superhero's mother. Speaking of the head talks, man, where is the dude? He's the star of the show, Fungus Brain. He's allowed to make a grand entrance if he wants to. Hi, everyone. I came to let you wish me good luck with my concert. Well, sure, Yvonne. Break your leg. <laughs> if you're lucky, they might replace it with a wheel, just like mine. Let's hear you test those angelic pipes of yours, honey. Doody, doody. I feel kind of funny wearing a tuxedo. But after all, how many times will my girlfriend Yvonne get a chance to sing in public? In her case, probably just once. Cassandra! What happened, Nozone? Oh, Yvonne hit one of her high notes. That can really be a low note. Ooh, tell me about it. Meanwhile, on the Tromoville Bridge, something was about to happen that would affect all of our lives. You see, there was this racing car driven by that world-famous race driver, Crash Shelby, on his way to the Tromoville Grand Prix. But the Prix was not to be, because a moving van was on the bridge ahead of him. Uh, yeah, honey, I'll stop at the diet driving on the way home. I guess the driver didn't notice the sign warning him not to throw banana peels on the bridge. It looked like Crash was about to break another speed record, along with his skull, when suddenly a strange thing happened. He landed in a fishing boat loaded with snails. It seems the combination of snail shells and engine oil created a weird chemical reaction, along with an even weirder kind of crossbred mutant. Oh, no! I've changed into some hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength! 
and I look like a snail. Oh well, I might as well make the most of it. Under the circumstances, I think I'll call myself Snail Man. Now all I need is a good battle cry. <gasps> I've got it. Let's escort go! Meanwhile, on Island City, Sars Soster was paying Dr. Killamoff a visit. Well, Killamoff, what's the latest on my underwater aqua filter project? Everything is going swimmingly, your Sarship. But now that it's completed, what will it be used for? I'll show you. But pay attention, there'll be a quiz later. We have developed a method of manufacturing that annoying plastic foam stuff that your VCR is packed in that you can never figure out how to get rid of. And we plan to pollute all of Tromaville with it, driving out the citizens and populating the city with our own smuggling horde. Bravo, our Soster. I love it. Like you had some kind of choice? Now, I'll need some men for a special assignment. I have just the people, your high and mightiness. Bonehead! Psycho! Uh, I was afraid you'd say that. And all the while, Snail Man was trying to adjust to his new life as a mollusk. Look, Harry, a guy who's half racing car and half snail. Yeah. You don't know whether to step on the gas or to step on him. <laughs> yeah. People can be so cruel. I must find a way to bring dignity and respect to my life. There's the answer. A plumber's helper's plant. This is it. The place where I'll carve out a new life for myself. No longer will anyone dare make fun of... Kind of a catchy tune. Here they are, your Zarship, the perfect volunteers for your special assignment. You'd better be right, Killamoth. Listen, you mutant misfits. In order for the aqua filter to create its plastic foam pollution, it needs filth and lots of it. Filth? You know, dirt, gunk, schmutz. Sure, boss. Schmutz is our specialty. The problem is those blasted, toxic crusaders. We keep dirtying Tromaville and they keep cleaning it up. Yeah, they got this real hang-up about pollution. That's why I want you and the Radiation Rangers to invade the toxic dump and bring back every scrap of filth you can lay your hands on. Do you think you can handle it? No sweat, Zaro, buddy. Bonehead knows dirt. <laughs> While all this was happening, Snail Man was practicing hour after hour, learning everything there is to know about handling a plumber's helper. With his newfound skill, Snail Man was now ready to face the world. Back at the dump, we were finally dressed and on the way to Yvonne's concert when a strange vehicle pulled up at our shack. Oh, oh Toxie, you rented us a limousine. So, what did you expect? My little Toxie is a limo kind of guy. Uh-oh, Tromaton alert! What is it, Toxie? It's when my Tromatons are telling me we're in the presence of some evil danger. No, dude. Bender means what kind of danger? Heck, whatever it is, us Toxic Crusaders can handle it. No, Junkyard! Don't open that door! We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. As we watched, dozens and dozens of Radiation Rangers kept climbing out of the limousine. Oh, wow. How neat. I think I once saw this in a circus. I think I once saw you in a circus. Let him start something. We're ready for him. Wait, Crusaders! You can't fight them! Why not, Toxie's mom? You think there's too many of them? Did we suddenly lose our superpowers? Is the episode over? No! You can't fight them because you're wearing your best clothes. It's okay, Mom. They're rented. Oh, well, in that case, get down and dirty! The 
battle wasn't going too well, and the bad guys, namely Psycho and Bonehead, knew it. <laughs> we got the Toxic Crusaders right when we want them! Yeah, down in the dumps. <laughs> okay, Radiation Rangers, charge! Like I said, things were going badly for us, especially for Mop, when suddenly... That music sounds awfully familiar. Maybe this is a rerun. Don't worry, Snail Man will help you fight these bad guys. Snail Man? Where'd he come from? Tromoville River. It seems the combination of snail shells and engine oil created a weird chemical reaction. Now that part I know I heard before. I bet he's great to play fetch with. He never loses the ball. Don't just stand there, you metal morons. Blast that creep. Pardon my back. I believe ceasefire is the phrase he's searching for. All oh, right, ceasefire! Why can't we get to fight some normal human beings? Who'd ever watch a show like that? Oh, radical. The dude's shell is harder than, than... I believe my head is the phrase you're searching for. Oh, right. Harder than your head. It's time to slime! The guy's got super snail slime sludge, too. I'm impressed. And I'm impressed that you could pronounce it. Personally, this has been one of the more embarrassing episodes for me. Who was that thing with the plungers? I don't know. But the last thing this show needs is another hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Kill him off! I'm losing my gentle disposition! Bonehead and Psycho have failed! As if I didn't expect it. Now, where are we going to get filth for my aqua filth? Never fear your bug ship. I just had a brilliant idea. The moment the Tromoville garbage barge passes directly over our underwater sludge quarters, I'll torpedo it. That will give us all the trash we'll need. Are you certain it will work, Gilimoth? You have my word as a doctor on it. It turned out that there were still a few hours left on the limo the Radiation Rangers had rented for the attack on us, so we decided to drive it to Yvonne's recital. And I fell off the bridge and onto that barge, and that's how I became Snail Man. The casual ride gave us a chance to get acquainted with our new friend, Snail Man. Faster, Toxie's mom, faster! I live for speed! Fine words coming from a snail! <laughs> Everyone has his, her, or his seatbelt on. Say, Snail Man, you're a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength who also had an environmental accident. Why not become a toxic crusader? Move in with us here at our beautiful dub. Righteous notion, Noza. Yeah, and your super suction plungers would sure be helpful with our toxic plumbing problems. It's a mighty tempting offer, guys, but since my mutation, I'm strictly a creature of H2O. Okay, everyone, we're here! What perfect timing! The ride gave us just enough time to learn a little of Snailman's backstory. Somehow, we made it safely to the end of the pier. It was kind of sad saying goodbye to our new friend, Snailman. Sure you won't change your mind, Snail Man? We could build you your own toxic wading pool. Thanks, Crusaders, but my place is with other underwater creatures like myself. See you around! Now there's a fellow who knows how to make a splash. Meanwhile, deep below the Tromaville Harbor, Dr. Kilimoff's evil plan was being put into action. As for those containers the Radiation Rangers are setting up, I have no idea what they're for. You'll find out soon enough, my fine toxic twerp. Psycho, Bonehead, prepare the sludge pedos for firing. It's garbage time! Step right up, culture lovers, and have your dollar bills ready. Remember, all money collected from this concert goes to a very good end. This is Yvonne's first music recital. <laughs> I hope she's not nervous. She'll be fine, Nozone. Mom's backstage with her. Now, remember to dance around, sweetie. You want to be a moving target when all those vegetables come flying in. And believe me, they will. Oh, Toxie's mom, you're such a comfort. Oh, honey. Now, go out there and knock them dead. <laughs> 
But at that very moment, Killamoth was starting the countdown for the Smogulin Sludge Pedo. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Uh, what comes before six? Three? Or is it twelve? Don't ask me. You're the scholar of the group. It's five, you dipstick! Oh, yeah! Five, four, three! Fire Sludge Pedo! Close enough. <laughs> These messages. When we last saw Dr. Killamoff's sludge pedo, it was headed straight for the Tromoville garbage barge. It was all part of Tsar Zoster's plan to smother Tromoville with that white plastic foam stuff that VCRs come packed in and no one knows how to get rid of. I know this is a lot of recapping, but you kind of forget the story when you stop for a bunch of commercials. Meanwhile, the lovely Yvonne was about to make her public singing debut. I don't want to brag, but everyone who was anyone was there. It was the social event of the season, which gives you an idea of the social life in Tromaville. Finally, the big moment arrived. <coughs> Hi, I'd like to start my recital with an original song I just made up, and it goes something like this. Oh, I wrote this little song, and if you want to sing along, I'd love to let you, but you really shouldn't try. You could hurt yourself by singing way too high. Oh, man, what an awesome note. Suddenly, I found myself having another full-fledged Traumaton attack. Look, fellas, Tox is having another full-fledged Traumaton attack. And like he's added some new moves. Yeah, go, Tox, man, go! What is it, Toxie? It wasn't Yvonne singing that caused the garbage barge to blow up. It was something evil out there in the water. Lloyd, look! The Traumaville garbage barge is licking refuse into our harbor! Oh, this is awful! Fellas, this looks like a job for the Toxic Crusaders! How many times must I tell you? You've got to wait at least 15 minutes after eating before going into the water to fight bad guys! No, sorry! Sorry! Those are the rules! While we were waiting to digest our peanuts, Dr. Killamoff was carrying out his evil scheme. Tsar Zoster, this is an historic moment. Just watch as the Tromoville garbage is sucked into the aqua filter sludge quarters by way of our specially constructed filth funnel. And now, my faithful radiation rangers use the latest technology to transmogify the garbage into that white plastic foam stuff. Please, Mom! You gotta let us swim out to that garbage barge. Dr. Killamoff is planning to smother Tromoville in that white plastic foam stuff. Yeah, yeah, I heard the voiceover. But I've got a better idea. Look! The toxic wing? Yeah, I asked the ladies from my Mahjong club to fly it over. Now are you happy? Happy? If you weren't my mom, I'd kiss you. Meanwhile, Dr. Killamoff himself came down to the garbage barge to supervise the operation. Yuck. I'm not getting paid enough to work with garbage. Yay! I resemble that remark! <laughs> it looks like my plan is a huge success! Soon we'll have enough garbage to filthify all of Tromoville! Unless the Toxic Crusaders come flying out here on one of Bender's whacked out inventions. Psycho, I'm going to forget you ever said that. Said what? See, boss, I forgot it also. Good. Now hurry with that filthifying process. Whoa! Slow down, man. I, I think I'm gonna be air sick. Not in my doggy bag, you won't. Target sighted. No zone, prepare to land. In all that garbage? With my allergies? No way, major disaster. See we didn't kill. Give us some help.
Oh, wow. Dynamite trick, Mr. Major Man. Yes, yeah, sometimes I even amaze myself. Come on, fellas, let's shake a leg. I'm sure had lots of practice doing that. Look, boss, it's the Toxic Crusaders, and they're flying on when a friend is whacked out in vengeance. Notice, I'm not saying a word. Well, don't just stand there, you Cretans! Fight the war! Radiation Rangers, hit the deck! Enemy troops at 3 o'clock! It's only 11.30. Maybe we ought to come back later. <laughs> this is the part I really dig! Attention, Seaweed! You know what we need. What do you say, Mop? Shall we swab a few slobs? Psycho, Bonehead, you two stay and defend the garbage barge at all costs. If you need me, I'll be in my impenetrable bunker 60 feet below the ground. Now, where have I heard that before? But suddenly, the tide of battle turned against us. The Radiation Rangers were getting the upper hand. While back on the pier, Mayor Grody was cashing in on the big battle. Get your binoculars, folks. You can't see the bloodshed without a binocular. It looked like the end of the Toxic Crusaders, when suddenly... Snail. It was Snail Man coming to my rescue! <laughs> Snail Man, am I glad to see you! Wow, you snails really know how to slug. That's nothing. Watch this. Thanks, Snail Man, for everything. Hey, us hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength have to stick together. Ew, yeah, I see what you mean. But wait, my job here isn't finished yet. I got a little bit of garbage maker for my new underwater domain. Besides polluting the harbor, it's bringing down real estate value. Uh, this will take all of my 240 horsepower. There. Now to dump this thing where it belongs. On the shores of Island City. Usual, Kill em Off got chewed out by Zar's Oster. Kill em Off, you screwed up again! You'll pay dearly for this! Hmm, in that case, there's only one thing left to do. Bonehead! Psycho! You screwed up again! You pay dearly for this! Okay, boss. How much is it this time? Let's see. There's $50 for shame and degradation, another $50 for pain and humiliation, and $75 for distress and aggravation. Yay! Thank you, faithful citizens of Tromaville. But the cheers aren't necessary, though they are kind of nice. It was our job to make Tromaville safe and free from environmental hazards. And now... Shh! Now that the threat to Tromaville was taken care of, we could continue with Yvonne's concert. <coughs> As I was singing before I was interrupted, Oh, I wrote this little song, and if you want to sing along, I'd love to let you, but you really shouldn't try. You could hurt yourself by singing way too Sorry about your TV sets, folks. We'll try and get them repaired before the next episode of The Toxic Crusaders!
We Crusaders were on our way back to the taxi gun with our day supply of food. You can work up a real appetite for being a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Except for Junkie, he put himself on a special diet. <laughs> My doctor said to cut down on red meat. He never said anything about white bones. Makes sense to me. Then, Doc, have a little brain food for your very little brain. Meanwhile, a short distance away, Mayor Grody had just opened up another of his money-making scams. It was a stink bomb factory. Mayor Grody always was on the cutting edge of progress. To make the stink bombs, some radiation rangers were throwing old tires onto a fire. Other rangers were burning old movie films. Believe me, some of them were real stinkers. The problem was, the factory was right next door to another of the mayor's money makers. Grody's home for golden oldies. <laughs> Which is when he came on the scene. Look! Those poor old codgers are being bombarded with second-hand smoke from the stick bomb factory. <laughs> Why, that's doggone unfair! Toxic Crusaders to the rescue! I'll handle this! Major disaster! Some ragweed, if you don't mind! A little ragweed is what we need! Saving our lives. Now get up, on! Bad dog! Bad dog! Sometimes it ain't easy being man's best friend. Toxic Crusaders, it's cleanup time! Radiation Rangers, I might have known! Let's chill out these kids! Whoa, you left two of them standing, man. Don't play me, you're the one who goofs. Dead not ease, Hitbanger. I'll handle this. Yes, it's a simple 710 split. Fellas, let's fix this factory so we can no longer pollute our unsullied drumobile air. Not bad, junkyard, but what this? Especially not the teeth. Ugh, yuck. Blech. Just then, who should come driving by but Mayor Grody? My beautiful profit making stink bomb factory. Totally destroyed. What could have happened to it? Well, it could have burned to the ground. Or it could have been blown over by the wind. Or it could have been in an earthquake. But it was none of the above. We Toxic Crusaders knocked it down because it was polluting the air. Emitting dangerous hydrocarbons into our atmosphere. Which just plays havoc with the plant life. Just say nothing to what it does to my uh, allergies. <laughs> you haven't heard the end of this. And you haven't seen the end of me. Yes, we have, dude. And it's not a pretty sign. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Mayor Brody decided to call on that smiling ambassador and all-round bad guy, Dr. Killamoth. Killamoth, you gotta help me get rid of them toxic crusaders. Then you'll be free to pollute Cromoville to your heart's content. Hmm, that's right. And then I can bring in my hordes of smuggling countrymen. Hey, country women. Don't forget the country women. Brody, you've got a deal. As you earn. 
earthlings say, one hand washes the other. You're in luck, Brody. I have a scheme for disposing of the toxic crusaders that we haven't tried yet. You say you want a truck that's rugged yet comfortable, huh? Luxurious yet basic, cheap yet expensive, powerful yet weak, fast yet slow, ha ha! And most of all, it's gotta be big! How about this two-ton, two-tone job? Isn't she a beauty? It's bigger! Oh, well, this one! Bigger! Well, all right then! This one! Let me explain. We're looking for a truck that's capable of crushing and crunching and mangling and squashing a shack, along with all of its occupants to a pulp. Oh, a recreational vehicle. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Gents, I've got just what you're looking for. It was owned by a little old lady who only drove into destruction derbies. <laughs> so, what do you think of this baby? It's perfect. We'll take it. A wise decision. Would you like to have it gift wrapped? No, thanks. We prefer to deliver it ourselves. I'll drive. We now return to the toxic of safety. Connected to the knee bone, the knee bone connected to the leg bone. Meanwhile, at the toxic dump, Junkyard was laying in a store of bones for the winter when he suddenly came across something. Well, what do you know? What have we got here? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's dark. Heavy. Well, I'll be doggone. It's a car. Kind of. Whoa, wheels! I can truly dig it. You're too late. Junkyard already dug it. Although why he did, I'll never know. Fellows, I just thought of something. We could rebuild this thing and turn it into a free cab service. Right, and help all those less fortunate citizens of Tromaville who can't drive. Yes, like sick people who are confined to their beds. Or teenagers who've been grounded. Or scofflaws whose cars have been towed away. Or some folks whose feet don't reach pedals. Why, we could go on for hours. I think we just did. With all of us pitching in, pretty soon our cab was starting to take shape. Fortunately, it wasn't the shape of a cab, but we couldn't afford to be fussy. I think I got the engine working. All right, a perfect fit. These are the only tires I could find, Topsy. One from a car, one from a truck, one from a bicycle, and one from a kitty car. I chased them all personally. Like I said, we couldn't afford to be fussy. Even Mom pitched in. An old couch. <laughs> this will make a great backseat <laughs> for a great backseat driver. Finally, it was finished, and we were ready for the big unveiling. Like ready, man? Set. Go. Oh, 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 There's something familiar about this thing. Naturally, darling boy, it's got your face. <laughs> but it got my nose. Bender created a special fuel made from a combination of garbage and septic ground swill for the cab to run on. <laughs> then it blows it out its exhaust in the form of sweet smelling, life giving oxygen. Now it was time to give our car a name. Everybody had a different suggestion. Yeah, how about Spot? Or General MacArthur. Or Schnazola. Or Garibaldi. Or just plain old Baldy. Forget it. I've already got the name. We'll call it Toxic Cab. <laughs> I love it! Totally perfecto moniker! It has a certain bite to it! Top notch choice! The Intoxy Cab it is! Well, boys, this thing is humongous! 
I needed something to make up for your mini-sized brains. Because you two yutsies are going to drive into the trauma mill dump and crush the toxic crusaders once and for all. We are? And it's only the beginning. From there, we'll start crushing all over the world. Sounds like fun, but how do we get way up there? Simple. <laughs> Some sort of poetic payback for my always playing dirty. We let Mom have the privilege of driving the taxi cab. Out of respect for her age and her tender gender. Mostly because she was the only one who had a driver's license. Way to go, Toxie's mom! Put the pedal to the metal! Yeah, peel that latex substance obtained from the sap of a tropical tree! It was then that we learned a painful lesson about the Toxie Gap. It was convertible. Yeah! At least it was painful for poor Toxie Gap. We also learned that because Toxic Cat has spent years buried in that toxic ooze, it had developed certain mutant abilities. Like avoiding potholes. That afternoon, I planned a real romantic surprise. Boy, Yvonne won't believe it when I take her for a spin in our new Toxic Cab. Well, Tox Man, here she comes now. Must you always be such a snitch? Now remember, fellas, not a word about the Toxie Cab. Don't worry, Toxie, our lips are zipped. We'll keep your secret, no matter how much she knows is around. <laughs> oh, Don, I wanted to surprise you. You too? Man, what a coincidence. Idiot! Is there something going on I should know about? No, something you shouldn't know about. You see, I got a... Oh, oops. Toxie, what is going on here? W uh, 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 I can't tell you. How dare you keep secrets from me? Well, well you, you see, uh, uh, that is, uh, well, uh... Well, if that's the way you feel, goodbye. <laughs> Yvonne was so upset, she went to visit Madame Gazanga, the locally franchised gypsy of the nationwide chain of fortune-telling parlors. So, before we begin, you want I should talk like the way I'm talking now? Or do you wish me to speak like Zsa Gabor? That goes three dollars extra. I really prefer the accent, but I gotta count my pain. Well, let me say, lady. Okay, so, what's on your mind? My boyfriend, Toxie, is acting real peculiar, and I want to know why. All right, let's see what the old crystal ball show. <laughs> oh, I see the problem. The guy found a new interest. She looks to be like about a 20-year-old model <laughs> with a really classy chapter. <gasps> so fancy. He's found another lady. Oh, no, no, she's no lady. She's a stuck. I don't want to hear it. Oh, and I thought people in Brooklyn were weird. <laughs> Poor Yvonne. She mistakenly thought I'd fallen for another woman. <laughs> Men, you can't trust them as far as you can throw them. I think there's a song in there. And it goes something like this. Oh, you can't trust a man as far as you can throw a man. You just can't ever throw him far enough. First, to tell you there's no other. Then he'll dump you for another. He'll be gone before the going gets tough. surprise right, but instead, I was the one who was surprised. It was a goodbye note with no foreign address. Dear Toxie, au revoir, adios, arrivederci, au Peterson, and a lot of other words that begin with the letter A. I never want to see you again. Loving kisses, Yvonne. Oh, no. Now we turn 
City Hall, Mayor Grody was also suffering. Kill him off! What's taking so long with your plan? That non-profit taxi cab those crusaders are operating is cutting into my profits. Uh, Grody, what are you blabbering about? All those good deeds they're doing free, I used to charge those old geeses. Your troubles will soon be over. The crusader crusher is on its way to Trollmobile now. All right, boathead, drive it on! Okay, boss, we're ready to roll! I thought this sort of thing only happened in cartoons. Back at the toxic dump, my mind was still on Yvonne when the Crusaders returned from doing their good deeds. Come on, Toxie, let's drive over to the baseball field and look for diamonds. No, you fellas go without me. I'm too upset about Yvonne missing. Poor Toxie. This Yvonne thing is hitting like a ton of bricks. Two thousand pounds is more like it. Like I've always said, love is for the dogs. Why, Dr. Killamoff hadn't given up yet. He was still determined to crunch us crusaders. <laughs> Neat idea, huh? <laughs> Flying us in for a sneak errand trap. <laughs> yeah, but what if someone touches the wrong button and we get dropped? Hey, don't be stupid. Which button is going to do that? I don't know. It could be Eeny, Meeny, Miny, or even Mo here. I found myself in downtown Tromaville, where Yvonne and I had spent so many happy hours together. It was pure torture. Everywhere I looked, I saw her face before me. I couldn't escape it. She was everywhere. I was at the breaking point. I knew I needed professional help. Oh, suddenly, there it was. Madame Gazanga's fortune-telling partner. Retreat, then! I 
to say it, fellas, but it looks like the end of the Toxic Crusaders. Not so fast, amigos. Scope out who's coming. Well, John, my cat, it's Toxic Cab. So that's why he drove off, to bring back our fearless leader, Toxie. And all this time we thought he was a yellow cab. Toxie, are we glad to see you? That huge truck is about to crush our shaft to smithereens. Whatever smithereens are, me and Toxie Cab will handle the truck. You fellas take care of our radiation rangers. It's moments like this that make me proud to be a Toxic Crusader. Under Toxie's inspired leadership, how can we lose? It's moments like this that make me proud to work with Dr. Gilmore. Under his inspired leadership, how can we lose? Aha! It's weeds we need! was pretty upset about losing his truck. You bubble-brained idiots! Losing a Crusader Crusher is nothing to be sneezed at! Sorry, boss. Springtime in Tromaville, and just as I was about to plant the seeds of the story for another Toxic Crusader episode, His Honor Mayor Grody was asking all the good people of Tromaville to plant a few seeds of their own. Is this on? Yeah. Uh, my fellow Tromavillians, it is with great pride that I announce the commencement of Beautify Tromaville Week. <laughs> Now, Blobby, everyone has the right to his, her, or its opinion. Even an overweight, basically corrupt mayor. As part of my Grody Says Just Say Grow campaign, I myself will be passing out free seeds to help beautify your lawns and gardens. Grody Says Just Say Grow. I like that. Maybe the mayor's not such a bad guy after all. Planting flowers is nice. Even though I'm not thrilled about all the pollen it's going to bring. I just hope these seeds grow into trees. Guys, it's our hideously deformed duty to keep Tromaville clean. So we've got to support the mayor's beautified Tromaville week. But what can we do? Nothing will grow in the despoiled soil around this dump. Lighten up, Benjamin. There's tons of landscaping we can do over at Toxie's mom's place. That's a great idea, Fender. It's cleanup time at mom's. Just say grow! 
As we moseyed on over to Mom's, Mayor Grody was picking up a few more votes. Here you go. Happy planting. Why, thank you, Mayor Grody. Now that's what I call a flower bed. While we all thought Mayor Grody was finally planning something good, in actuality, something sinister was sprouting, especially back on Island City. I'll take it from here, you lumpy-headed lout. Sure, Dr. Killamoff. I kind of forgot what comes next anyway. All right, Mayor Grody, you may come in now. I've done what you've asked, Doctor. So far, I've given out 3,462,272 of your free seeds. Now, at my commission of three cents each, you owe me, let me see now, if I take this and carry it over, I'll have it. A lot of dough, here. Yeah, that's it. A lot of dough. <laughs> Gotta go. Excellent. Those stupid Tromovillians have taken the bait. Soon, those sinister seeds our Zoster sent us from Smogula will be in full bloom. I don't get it, boss. How's planting beautiful flowers gonna toxify Tromaville? Bonehead, you fool! The fancy flowers are a floral facade. Soon, Tromaville will be faced with a monstrous mass of vicious vines and violent vegetation unlike anything you've ever seen. And maybe even a special big surprise at the end of the show. Oh! <laughs> Since it was already quite clear that this episode was about gardening, we got right to work beautifying the city. A turn, hut, leaves, about face, and march out of this place. Oh, boy, you're doing such a wonderful job. Don't thank us, Mom. Thank Mayor Grody and his beautified Tromaville week. Don't tell me that Mayor Grody has turned into a good guy. It sure seems that way, Toxie's mom. And I've written a special song for the occasion. While strolling through the garden one spring, I discovered such a beautiful thing. Oh, Toxie, when you work with toys, I'm so proud to be your sky. It makes me want to float and sing. Thanks, Yvonne. That was a sweet song. Oh, no. Dandelions. <laughs> Uh-oh, this won't be pretty. <laughs> Incoming gale force winds, take cover! <laughs> Quick thinking, Mop. Ooh, that was close. Thanks, Mop. You're a real friend. I don't know, boss. The Toxic Crusade is planting Zarzos to sinister seeds. I don't think that's such a good idea. Psycho, I don't need your advice! If Zarzoster didn't want to use his putrefying plant life on the Toxic Crusaders, he would have told me so! Kill him off, you bad-brained bug! Why are the Toxic Crusaders planting sinister seedlings at Toxie's mom's house? Well, Sarsoster, I, I thought. Don't think that's my job. But if the Toxic Crusaders are going to plant my seeds, then you better be sure they get rid of that military mutant major disaster. His plant controlling powers might interfere with my plans. Uh, plans. Oh, yes, your Sarnus, all great and powerful one. I'll get rid of major disaster right away. See that you do. If you have to, hire another bad guy. Thunder! We need more seeds! Out. Huh? Hey, major disaster. Sergeant Psycho reporting for duty. Psycho? Let go of my leg! And that's an order! Hey, major disaster! Hey, you! Freeze! Hey, you! Sneeze! Uh oh, no, not again. <laughs> okay, Rangers, make rain! My goodness, it's raining cats and dogs. I resemble that remark. Yvonne is right. I think I just stepped in a poodle. Would you look? 
It just stopped raining! Awesome arrangement. Well, dog my cats. <gasps> a rainbow! It's enough to make me want to compose a song. Every rainbow has its cloudy lining. Uh, something like that. <laughs> My guess is we've got some heavy-duty problems in Act Two. And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. The sinister seeds and weird weeds were rapidly strangling the houses in Tromaville. Run, man, the Toxic Crusaders! Yeah, these weeds kind of grow on you. <laughs> hey, watch it! The, the back, wicked weed! The back, I say! Whoa! Uh-oh! Geronimo! Without major disaster, we were having a tough time trying to whack the wicked weeds. And what's worse, the bad guys were hiring more help. <laughs> we got him on the ropes now, Doc. All set, boss. The ad is running in today's Tromaville Times. Ad? What ad? Bad guy needed long hours, low pay, but lots of dirty, messy fun. You bumbling buffoon! I don't need more help! Everything is going according to plan. Bizarre Zost is set to hire another bad guy. Besides, the guy's here already. No, oh, all right, send him in. The name's Mower Man, but you can call me Mower Man. Hmm, Mower Man. I like the sound of it. Yeah, boss, it's real cutting edge. You get it? <laughs> cutting edge? Yeah, oh, only kidding, Mower Man. It says here you were last employed as a gardener. What happened? Do we have time for a flashback? Always, if it's good and gory. Oh, this one's gory, all right. You see, here's how it happened. Like my resume said, I was a gardener by trade. Clipping and pruning were second nature to me. Then one terrifically hot day, I decided to take a little siesta inside a metal gardening shed. It was so hot, the door to the shed got welded shut, trapping me inside. Next thing I knew, I was a hideously deformed gardener with superhuman shears and strength, and I was out of work. Hmm, you seem like a sharp guy. You're hired. <laughs> now, I have a very special assignment for you. Don't worry, I can cut it. Meanwhile, back in Tromaville, the beautiful flowers Mayor Grody handed out were turning into wicked weeds and indestructible ivy. And they were growing way out of control. It's no use. They're growing faster than we can contain them. Dudes, without major disasters powers to help, these wild thing weeds are going to win. Hey, who are you? It's cut-up time! What a low-down trick. Just when I started my diet. Fork! <laughs> we finally managed to drive off Mower Man and the Radiation Rangers. Hi, Lloyd family. Sorry about your picnic being ruined, but we did manage to rescue half a hoagie. No problem, Toxie. Now we can go to Burpo Burger, which is much better than eating Mrs. Lloyd's cooking. Yay! Yay! Yuck! Talk about your hideously deformed heroes. Wait a minute. Tuna fish, peanut butter, and cream cheese. <laughs> My favorite. We may have won the battle, but with Major Disaster still missing in action, even the tuna, peanut butter, and cream cheese had lost its charm. Bonehead. How do you like Dr. Kilmore's private zoo? Here we have a fine specimen of the Toxicus Crusaderus. Toxicus Crusaderus? Gee, they sure are ugly. You guys know darn well my name's Disaster. Major Disaster. Oh, yeah? You're the one who likes plants, right? Well, let's see how you like this. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. 
She left me that! Stop it, please! You're hurting it! Come on, Bonehead. We got more important things to do. Yeah, like toxifying Tromoville and destroying the rest of the toxic crusaders! You, keep an electric eye on our pal Major Disaster. What a bunch of meanies, picking on a poor defenseless Petunia. Hmm, maybe I can put that Petunia to work. It's time to get on with the show. Petunia, do your stuff and grow! Okay, Vine, I've done my time. Not so fast, plant puss. Holy hedge clippers, it's a hideously deformed bad guy with superhuman shears and strength. <laughs> Forget it, Fungus Face. You're my prisoner now. <laughs> this mower man is working out quite well. Bonehead, I want you to step up the Sinister Seed program to phase two. You mean? Yes, release the mutated strain of Sotosynthesis plants. Sotosynthesis. Sotosynthesis. I think he means photosynthesis. No, you brainless baboon! Photosynthesis is good. Sotosynthesis is bad. My sotosynthesis plants breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon monoxide, causing unsuspecting humans to have coughing fits, teary eyes, and runny noses. Oh, kind of like being in a room with you, huh, boss? Get to work! Well, that's some impressive set of snippers you got there. I bet you must work hard to stay in shape, huh? You know, it takes dedication. I work out at the gym three days a week and visit my blade sharpener every Thursday. You know, I was thinking, Mower Man, while we're sitting around waiting for Act Three, maybe you could give me a little trim. Sure, why not? I never could resist a bit of fine pruning. Gee, how about those Dodgers? Wait till next year. There, finished. What do you think? What do I think? I think I'm out of here! Gee, what about my tip? You want a tip? Never underestimate a toxic crusader! Major disaster, your battles have just begun. And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. Back in Tromoville, the bad guys were getting ready to release their Sotofinincin. <clears throat> uh, Sotofinincin, in, 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 you know. They were up to no good. <laughs> hey, wasn't that... Nah, it couldn't be. Here, let me help you with this. Sotofinincin. Soto Synthesis. Uh, Soto Fifth Hand Six. Uh, Soto. Look, we ain't got all day. Just call them bad seeds and keep planting them, all right? Meanwhile, Mower Man was still chasing major disaster all over Tromaville. Stately elm, so big and tall. Let us have an early fall. It'll take more than this to stop Mower Man. <laughs> you, a gardener. How can you use your gardening gifts for evil? I get paid to cut things down and to capture you. All over town, we Toxic Crusaders try to stop people from planting the sinister seeds. Excuse me, folks, but we have reason to believe that the free seeds Mayor Grody gave out are actually part of an evil plan to toxify our fair town of Tromaville. Uh, how could that be? Look at all of these beautiful flowers. That's right. Mayor Grody's done a great service to Tromaville. He's got my vote. Sorry, folks, but my traumatons never lie, and they tell me we're in the presence of some great evil. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you think you're such 
gorgeous star, Toxie. Well, welcome to Hollywood and fine. Yeah. If only our good buddy Major Disaster were here, he'd know how to put these evil plants in their place. Thanks for the compliment, Nozone. It's the Major. He's back. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Don't thank goodness, dude. Thank the riders. Yay! Oh, Major's back. It's cleanup time. Let's go, Mr. Smarty Plants. Do your stuff. Ivy and weeds shrink back into seeds. What's that? A blast of heroic trumpets in the key of C. Well, what's wrong, Major? It's no use. These plants are unlike anything I've ever seen on Earth, or even in a toxic crusader show. The name's Mower Man, but you can call me Mower Man. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Mower Man. Say, are you a good guy or a bad guy? A bad guy, you nasal nitwit. Gee, don't you remember battling with me in Act Two? Oh, yeah. See, I'm a little fuzzy-headed this episode because of my allergies and all this pollen. <laughs> okay, next dance. It takes two to tangle more mess, and now it's my turn. Chill out, dudes. Look, something's happening. Suddenly, all the weeds and vines came together to create a tremendous, humongous, gigantic, really big weed monster. So this is the evil plan Dr. Killamoth was talking about way back in Act One. Yep, this is it, all right. Pretty neat, huh? Oi! All this excitement is making me thirsty! Excuse me, Sonny. Could you give me a hand? Or whatever those things are. Gee, what's that? A sting of evil music. No, that. It was my prune juice. Now it's my ex-prune juice. Did you say prune juice? Exactly. Like in no sense crying over spilled prune juice? Now, to an old-time gardener like Mower Man, the word prune meant only one thing. And once Mower Man got the urge to prune, there was no stopping him. Prune! 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 Radiation Rangers, retreat! Uh-oh, boss. When Zar Zoster finds out about this, he's gonna really chew you out. Kill him off, you idiotic insect! Once again, I've handed you the perfect plan to toxify Tormobile, and you blew it! <laughs> what is that? I don't think it's the Tooth Fairy. It's a Remulac Dento creature. The better to chew you out with. <laughs> <laughs> I told you so. Testing, one, two, three, and testing. That wasn't me. Citizens of Tromaville. <laughs> <laughs> um, and hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength. We are very pleased to announce that Beautified Tromaville Week was a terrific success. Yeah! What in blazes? Thanks to that Mower Man guy and our own Mayor Max Grody, Your Honor, we present you the remains of the Wicked Weed Monster. <laughs> thank you, my friends. I, thank you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And so, with another exciting episode winding to a close, there are just a few loose ends to take care of like getting rid of all these clippings until Mop came up with a brilliant idea. Uh, 
感じで、えーチュン As for Mower Man, he had to go find another job. Gee, here's one. Politician needs full-time paper shredder to destroy evidence. Hmm, I think I'll give this guy Grody a call. Tromoville. So we Toxic Crusaders decided to pitch in and do some community work. We were helping to decorate the park for the upcoming Bicentennial Bash. By the way, Junkyard, what exactly is a Bicentennial? Yeah, I think it's one of those bugs with a hundred legs. Negative. Bicentennial. It's got something to do with buffaloes. Bicentennial means 200. It's the 200th anniversary of when Tromoville was first founded. Oh, wow. I never knew it was lost it. No, you dipstick. Found it means when it was first started. Oh, wow. I never knew it was stopped. While we were busy decorating the park, Dr. Killamoff was busy doing some decorating of his own. This is humiliating. We were hired to be bad guys, not bad house painters. So far, you get more paint on me than on the ceiling. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of noxious paint fumes in the morning. You clods missed the spot on the ceiling! Sorry, boss. We'll take care of it right away. Yay! How am I supposed to get down from here? How about falling? Why is our solster? Forgive the mess, but we're in the middle of redecorating. Kill him off. I'm sick and tired of waiting for you to toxify Tromoville. I'm planning my own Tromoville invasion with a hot air balloon. With Toxie's face on it? It's to gain the people's confidence, but actually it's filled with vile, choking, putrid fumes, which will be released over the city to make Tromoville more livable for the smuggling population that will follow. An excellent idea, your buckship. The hot air balloon will land this weekend at the heart of Tromaville Park. A terrible idea, your buckship. What? They're holding some sort of bicentennial celebration there. Not to worry. By the time we're through with them, it will be a bye-bye centennial. <laughs> you just make sure those toxic crusaders aren't around to foil our scheme. I must think of a way to get rid of those toxic crusaders for the weekend. But how? Ah, that's it! What a brilliant idea! Psycho, you're a genius! We were back at the shack, resting up from a hard day of booth building and balloon blowing, when suddenly there was a loud knocking at the door. Oh, 
Hi there. What can I do for you? I know you can't tell by looking at me, but I happen to be a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength, just like you. It's always nice to meet a fellow mutant. I'm Tin Can Man, the result of an explosion in a paint factory. Hey, we all have our shaggy dog stories. And you'll hear them all at our upcoming convention. Come to the once-in-a-lifetime annual convention of hideously deformed creatures of superhuman size and strength. Games, contests, and lots of neat prizes. Three days and two nights at the elegant Weehawk and Wilton. Sorry, but we're busy this weekend. It's Tromobile's bicentennial. Oh, oh no, Avis! Oh, I've always dreamed of a weekend in Weehawken. Me too, Toxie. Bicentennials come along every 200 years. Well, who knows when there'll be another hideously deformed creature convention. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh. Think about it. Well, OK. We'll go to the convention. Yeah. <laughs> All right, way to go. It worked, boss. Those stupid toxic crusaders are going to Weehawken for the weekend. Perfect! My plan to allow the smogulant hot air balloon to land is working! <laughs> this was a day for people knocking on other people's doors. Mayor Grody came to call on Mom. So, why is a big shot like you visiting a schlepper like me? Is it election time? No! It's raising the rent time! But I'm as poor as a church mouse. There's no need to come up with the money right away. <laughs> Tomorrow will be fine. How can I pay this humongous rent on my tiny pension? It's times like this I wish my taxi was a CPA. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Mom, spunky little spitfire that she is, headed straight for the Hire and Fire Employment Agency. Send in the next applicant, please. All I want is a simple little job that pays a lot of money and has plenty of coffee breaks, a terrific parking space, long lunch hours, and a major medical plan. <laughs> oh, really? So does the entire world. You're a very sweet boy. You won't forget to file my application now, huh? <laughs> right. I'll file it under N for no way. <laughs> Excellent work, Kilimov. It was brilliant the way you got the Toxic Crusaders to leave town for the big hot air balloon arrival. You're most kind, your buggyness. Kilimov, you deserve some help on this project. What you need is an extra pair of hands. I already have an extra pair of hands. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a girl Friday. Someone to handle the numerous annoying details of the upcoming invasion. That's a splendid idea. I'll find someone immediately. Good. I'll be bugging off now. Hello, Hire and Fire Employment Agency. I'm looking for some office help. The hours are terrible, the salary is worse, there are no lunches or coffee breaks, and we have no parking or medical plan. Oh, have I got a girl for you. Hey, boss, your new secretary's here. Oh, I always wanted to work for a doctor, in case I got a paper cut. Toxie's <laughs> mom? What are you doing here? Oh, haven't you heard? I'm your new Girl Friday. Girl Friday? Okay, Woman Friday. Try Grandma Friday. Mm, you don't know how honored I am to have a woman like yourself working for me. Oh, yuck, enough with the kissing. This is strictly business. But of course, can you start immediately? Oh boy, you're some slave driver. I'll tell you what, I'll be back after my two hour lunch, just in time for my coffee break. <laughs> I can't believe it. Toxie's mom working for me. What an incredible stroke of good fortune. Why's that, boss? Don't you see? Not only will I be able to keep tabs on the Crusader's activities, but I hear she also cooks a mean pot of chicken soup. Yeah, boss, but what if... Psycho! Don't say it! And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. 
It was so exciting. All we could think about was our upcoming trip. Except for Headbanger. Talk about banging heads. You're not planning on taking that hang glider, are you? Most assuredly, dude. Weehawken is the hang gliding capital of the world. But I detest hang gliding. It's dangerous. What's the problem, man? You want to live forever? Not if it means sharing a body with you. Wimpazide. Cretan. Woods. That does it. You're coming to my laboratory with me. Whoa, like I got a choice, right? Then and there, Bender decided to invent something that would help solve his problems with Bender and give this story a plot. Right you are, Toxie's voiceover. Behold, my patent-pending brain switcher. Far out. Like, what's it do, dude? With any luck, I'll meet another horribly deformed creature at the convention who's willing to switch brains with you. Way rad. I hope he's a surfing kind of guy. I was trying to stuff Mop into a suitcase. No sense paying extra there. When suddenly, Mom showed up with a dump. Hello, Sonny! What's with the packing? I got the greatest news, Mom. We Toxic Crusaders are going to a creature convention in Weehawken. That's nice, darling. But my news is better than your news. You're looking at Dr. Killamorph's brand new executive assistant. I can't believe it. My very own dear sweet mom working for Killamorph. That's Dr. Killamorph, darling. But he's a bad guy. He may be bad, but his money is good. Oops, gotta run. I don't want to be late for my first coffee break. Ciao, sweetie pie. I hate to say it, but Mom really organized Killamorph's life. I told you before! That's Dr. Killamorph! Sorry, Mom. Well, so what do you think? I put all of your crimes in alphabetical order. C, arson under A, bribery under B, and kleptomania under C, because I wasn't sure how you spell it. Toxies, Mom, you're marvelous. I don't know how I existed without your help. <laughs> I warned you before about that kissing. You're right, of course. I deserve that. The woman is phenomenal. In one day, she's put this entire office in order. I don't know about this, boss. What if hiring Toxie's mom causes you to get zapped by a ray from one of Bender's inventions that turns her into you and makes you lose your mind? Lose my mind? Have you lost your mind? Now go back to doing whatever it is you do around here. I'm worried, Bonehead. With Toxie's mom taking over like this, you and me could get the heave ho. <gasps> You're right, Psycho. We gotta do something to protect our jobs. But what? I know. We'll get the boss some inside info on the Toxic Crusaders. You and me are going to the Toxic Dump and dig up some dirt. It was the perfect time for Psycho and Bonehead to sneak into the dump, because we were all over at Yvonne's house, where she'd invited us for a bologna and balloon blowing party. Great idea, huh? Free bologna sandwiches just for blowing up some balloons. My trouble is, I always get the two of them mixed up. See what I mean? Yvonne, come back! Stand aside, Toxie. My mulch gun will take care of this. Please, Yvonne, you've got to stop blowing up balloons. I can't help myself. It's like potato chips. It's hard to stop after just one. Meanwhile, at the toxic dump, Bonehead and Psycho were sniffing around like a couple of rats. Hey, look at that! What do you suppose it is? I don't know, but it sure got a lot of buttons and dials on it. Let's take it to Dr. Killamorph. It might help score us a few points. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Let's try it and find out. No, wait, don't! <laughs> hey, boss, are you okay? A few aches and pains, but at my age, what can you expect? Now sit, and I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. Or maybe you'd like to have some fruit, too. What's going on here? I don't know, but I think it's got something to do with this gizmo. Why are you two amoeba brains just standing around? We've got an invasion to plan. Now move it! Whatever, Whatever you, you say, Doxy's mom. mom. Are you two blind? I'm Dr. Killamoff, and don't you forget it. Whatever, Whatever you, you say, say Dr. Killamoff. Now, now, remember your blood pressure. Here, this nice cup of hot tea will relax you. Thank you, Toxie's mom. At least someone around here hasn't lost their mind. I don't know what this thing does, but we got to get rid of it before it does it to you and me. Here goes. Goodbye to bad rubbish. 
Will you two imbeciles hurry and finish painting this office? After the Smogulan invasion, there'll be lots of picture taking. You're right, Toxie's mom. I mean, Dr. Kilimoff. I mean, I don't know what I mean. Oi, paint fumes. They make me nauseous. If anyone wants me, I'll be at home watching Oprah. You said Kilimoff was going to lose his mind. Yeah, why doesn't anyone ever listen? Hi, look what I brought you. Flowers? I don't have time for flowers. Can't you see I'm planning an invasion? A, a celebration of the upcoming bicentennial. No, beat it. Why traumatized? They're doing the bandango. That can only mean one thing. My own dear sweet mom is a bad guy. And now, these messages. We now return to the Toxic Crusaders. When Bender found his brain switcher missing, he accused poor Fender of stealing it. Thief! Crook! Shoplifter! I can't turn our back on you for a minute! Chill, Doc. Yours truly didn't cop your precious brain switcher. Well, then who did? Beats the heck out of me. Thanks, I'd love to. Whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it. Fellows and Yvonne, I've got an important announcement to make. Would you like a fanfare for this? That won't be necessary, Major Disaster. Well, so what's a hot news, Toxie? My mom is turning to a villain. Oh, uh -huh. get out of town. Oh. You've got to be mistaken. Your mom could never be evil. Much as I hate to say it, she's a regular pussycat. It's true, fellows and Yvonne. My traumatons never lie. Hi, boys. I want a day. Don't ask. Kill them off. off. Where? Where? There. There. That's the second time today someone told me I look like that crook. Personally, I don't see the resemblance. I brought you boys some nice cheese Danish to take to the hideously deformed creature convention. Have a nice trip! Fellas and Yvonne, something really weird is going on. My traumatons never even twitched in the presence of the evilest guy on this entire show. I just figured it out. Someone must have stolen my brain switcher and used it to switch the brains of Toxie's mom and fuck to kill him off. We gotta find that gadget and unswitch him pronto! Private Maple, attention! Begin brain switcher search! Search results negative. Ouch! Fender, you idiot! That was my thumb! Oh, yeah? So how come it's my thumb that's hurting? Sorry, ma'am. This won't take but a second. <laughs> no, those feathers, they're, 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 tick they're tickling my nose. No, no, uh, 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 uh. As for me, I went to check on Dr. Mom to see if she was okay. Come in, Sonny. I was just doing the dishes. I'll be happy to help you with them. Believe me, it's not necessary. With these extra set of hands, I can wash and dry. It was kind of weird having Mom's brain here in Tromaville while her body was back in Island City. Ah, oh, Zarzoster, welcome. Who in blazes are you? Why, I'm Dr. Kilimoff, of course, your mighty beetleship. Very clever, Kilimoff. Disguising yourself so you can mingle freely at the upcoming invasion? Except for those glasses, you're really quite attractive. I'm so happy you approve your czarhood. Kill him off. Let the Tromaville invasion begin! Let the Tromaville bicentennial celebration begin! In honor of the occasion, the lovely Yvonne has written a special song in honor of Tromaville's 200th birthday, which she will now perform. Oh, I feel my brain. In 1791, when our fair city began, they wanted to call it Tokyo. But there was already one in Japan, so they called it Tokyo. 
there was no keeping Mom away from the fair. She could never resist a 200th year celebration. I'm deeply honored by your presence. I, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying yourself. How could I enjoy myself knowing you've raised the rent of a poor old lady who's living on social security plus some meager bingo winnings? Well, I, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to upset you. <laughs> Tell your mom she can live rent-free for the entire year. Good news, Mom. Mayor Crody says you can live rent-free for the entire year. I know that. I may be getting old, but my hearing is just fine. Back at the toxic dump, the guys had just about given up on their search for the brain switcher. I'm afraid it's no use. We'll never find that thing. All right. Then let's head for the celebration for some serious partying. What about Junkyard? We'd better let him sleep. Poor guy's exhausted from all of that digging. Toxic Crusaders, forward, march! Hip, 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 hip. Well, dog my cat. It's Bender's brain switcher. <laughs> I just hope I'm not too late. As part of the celebration, the Lloyd family were reenacting the first Tromoville Thanksgiving 200 years ago. All right, darling, you can bring out the turkey you so lovingly cooked. Me? Cook? Forget it. I'm still crazy from that awful ocean voyage. Suddenly, the play was interrupted by a sneak attack of a squadron of apocalypse copters. And worst of all, my own beloved mom was in charge of the whole operation. Was I ever embarrassed? Meanwhile, Bonehead and Psycho were scaring everybody out of the park. The only good part was that we didn't have to watch the end of the Thanksgiving play. What gift, talks, man? Why don't we fight back? Yeah, Aiden, clean up time! I just can't. I know that's really kill him off, but it's also my mom. I've got the baby pictures to prove it. Well, troops, it looks like it's taps for the Toxic Crusaders. That won't be necessary, Major. I found the brain switcher. Totally triumphant. For once, I agree with you. What are you doing leading my radiation rangers? Oh, never mind that! What are you doing with my purse and my brand new hat? <laughs> and now for those long-awaited words, it's cleanup time! <laughs> The show still got about two and a half minutes left. No zone was right, because settling over the park was a humongous, smuggling hot air balloon. And it was spewing out noxious fumes. Operation Toxic Fumes is really working! <laughs> Don't worry, fellas. I got an idea. Okay, that should do it. Now, let's take care of that hot air balloon. Bone voyage! <laughs> Get him up, you will pay for this! Okay, Mop, do your thing. <laughs> the tent full of balloons landed on target, right on top of Kill em Off's headquarters. <laughs> Kill em Off, you blunder! I'll strangle you with my four bare hands. If I ever find you, 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 where are you? She's the flower of the tower coach. A cow punctures a sweetheart, it should be true. And her looks don't amount to her much. Cause one of her eyes is bleak, bleak, bleak blue. She's got skin just like prairie dog leather. She cooks nothing but chuck wagons, twist, 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 stew. And her name is Minerva Ouch. She's the flower of the flower coach. <laughs> 